Welcome to Rehash! All the internet, we're all news, is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Hi everybody, I'm Babaloo, and welcome to Rehash, where the internet isn't quite as scary. Thank you so much to Babaloo for providing today's Rehash introduction. If you guys would be cool like Babaloo, make sure to open the description where you guys can submit a Rehash introduction where we'll talk about your guys' YouTube channel. Just remember, open it gently. Don't rip it. I don't care what this guy says. Just left click it. So we got a couple of newsy type whatever we want to discuss with you, the Freedom Family. Um, starting with, I guess, me. So today I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family, that's you, about a man who from... Can you guess where? Uh, Florida? Unfortunately. A man from Florida who is currently getting in some trouble due to some stuff he did to some ducks. We'll get into that a little bit later. And then you wanted to talk yeah, about... I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family and you about how China lifted the ban on gaming consoles after 15 years, but... We'll get into that shortly. Ah, uh, there's a but. I don't yeah, like there's buttons. a but. There's a, there's a what. I mean, I do like, never mind. Okay. And then I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family about a Louisiana um, news station who is doing one of those, uh, like, um, crime watcher, crime stopper yeah. type things. Yeah. But this one's a little bit different. And, of course, there's one story that we're not going to talk about today, and that's about how a gunshot victim was dropped off at a Florida Walmart instead of the... Um, in Florida. Instead of the emergency room. Yes, but we're not going to be talking about that one, so yeah, let's go. Jason Falbo is currently in trouble for taking his lawnmower and running over some little baby duckies. Wow. I mean, that's... Hor that's that, horrific. That, that, that is horrible. He's facing one year in jail for no. doing this. And I don't know, I personally think that there's a special place in whatever afterlife you do or do not believe in um, that's designated for these kind of people. A yeah, life sentence. Yeah. Um, so that's what you would give him? You would give him a life sentence? Exactly. My question to you, the Freedom Family, is if you could give this guy a sentence of any sort, what would you punish this guy with? Um, and of course, we're speaking hypothetically, but... You know, I'm curious, what, uh, what punishment is it that you believe fits a crime like this? Yeah. All right. Um, and then uh, you want to talk about? So I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family and you about how China has lifted a ban on gaming consoles after 15 years. Now, that's good news. Like, I'm, I'm glad that they're finally getting with the times. Yeah, you guys can go to China, you guys can pick up a PS4 or Xbox One or, or whatever gaming console that you guys prefer on that day. However... Oh, uh, now there's a but. I knew there yeah, was a but. There, there, there's a however. So China is notorious for censorship. So if you guys want to, you guys can go pick up a gaming console, but due to censorship, almost every game that all of us are very keen on playing, be it Grand Theft Auto, Mario, Call of Duty, Battlefield... What about Minecraft? All of it. It's all banned. Yeah, literally. Like, every game that you guys... That's, can... Wait a minute. That's kind of like because selling someone a car and not letting them drive it. Yeah, like not getting them the keys. Exactly. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. What's up with that? So, you guys can pick up an Xbox One or PS4, but there's like two or three games that you can play. And there's really no word on whether or not they will be developing titles specifically for those consoles. Now, actually, I think that that might be kind of cool if there were like a, a division of like Microsoft China yeah. or like Sony, you know, um, Sony producing titles just for China. Right. Um, though, I don't think that their government would let everything through. It would be nice to see, you know, that they actually had a reason to purchase these consoles. And, and due to new leadership, the censorship is going to get even more notorious, meaning that there's going to be even fewer titles available for those consoles. So you can pick up the consoles, but there's like no games. You so, can just stare at it. Too long, didn't watch. Don't be. Don't plan on moving to China and playing um, South Park: The Stick of Truth anytime soon. Ever. Ever. All the right. News that and then I did have another newsy type whatever for you, the Freedom Family. Today I wanted to talk to you, the Freedom Family, and of course you too, Zach, or Jack, or Jack. whatever oh. your name is. And I, so I'm, I'm not sure if this is something that happens outside the States, but in the States you'll see something, usually it's called like Crime Watch, Crime Stoppers, Stoppers yeah. something along those lines. Well, that's what this is. It's a video where one gentleman is addressing the camera and he's talking about, um, you know, a crime that recently happened and, and whatnot. Unfortunately, it seems like the, the criminal in question robbed the wrong place. He robbed, <laughs> like, a cop hangout. Yeah. Okay? So this gets real personal real quick. The officer in question, and if you want to see the full video, link down there in the description. Um, the officer that's filming this video is, 
Um, he gets really personal really quick. Like, he starts saying, you know, it's only a matter of time before you get caught. Um, and there's also a moment where I want to see if you hear the same thing I hear. So let's go ahead and roll that clip. He looks to be around six foot tall and thin. Watch how he walks with sort of a lanky gait. Okay, so I'm not sure if that's sunk in. Let's roll that clip a couple more times. Watch how he walks with sort of a lanky gait. A lanky gait. A lanky gait. So, Zach, did you hear what I hear? Yeah, I heard lanky gait. That's what I heard. Yeah, so, um, and the reason that I uh, think that is because, like I said, this gets really personal really quick. If you're the man that committed this felony, Look at me, son. I'm talking to you. Um, and I do suggest that you check it out. Link in the description. Right now, that video is sitting at about 75,000 yeah, views. Hey, Jesus Christ. Um, plus whatever was seen on TV. So the officers um, guessed that it was reach 100,000 people. It, it almost has. Almost. Just online. Not including <laughs> the television run. Also, there was a bit where, just as he was talking about uh, what he was going to do afterwards, yeah. like he starts talking about, you know, I'm going to have me a cheeseburger with french fries. Yeah. With a Coke. <laughs> Just as he's saying this, a Coca-Cola van drives up right behind him. So it actually makes me wonder in today's YouTube space whether this is a very clever ad for Coca-Cola. Like a hoax or something? Yeah. <laughs> like, or a sponsored video. Right. Of course, it is from a reputable news station, so I doubt that that's the case. But the timing of it just it's could not perfect. be better. Right. All right. Um, that pretty much wraps up all the stories. Yeah, so we get to talk about it. Actually... I wanted to say there is one story that we're not talking about. Link in the description right. if you want to check that out. It's about some guy who got shot and ended up at a Walmart instead of an emergency room. That's horrible. We'll read that out. And because it happened in Florida, that was just way too much Florida for one video. So, <laughs> yeah. And then, you uh, talk about that it. one thing. Uh, uh, the comments. Yeah, that thing. Comment number one comes from Iced Clan. I believe I'm saying that right. It says, uh, Q, anyone else notice the thumbnail? PMSL. I'm not sure what that means. I know what PMS means. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I've been a married man. Yeah. Looks like Ronald McDonald is kicking that guy in the beep. Maybe I'll, he is. I'll be honest. I made that thumbnail, and I did not notice that little thing right. until a few hours after it was alive. And I was like, ah! I'm like, well, maybe maybe nobody will notice. I like that. Thanks for calling me on that. And then, uh, you yeah, and comment number two comes from J.O. Chris. J.O. Chris, he says, monkeys. Monkeys. Yeah, just monkeys. Monkeys. Exactly. Monkeys. 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 Comment number three comes from G Gaming. Not just G Gaming, but G Gaming. Cool. With an exclamation point. He says, can I ask you a question? Yes, you can, and you just did. All right. All right. So can no, I no, 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 no. Of course. I'm kidding. He follows that up by saying, you have an MSI. Does it have Bluetooth problems, as mine has a lot? Now, I'll be honest, I've actually never used the Bluetooth yeah, on mine. And even if I, I, I wouldn't even know how to, where the settings are, I've never really needed that feature. Exactly. Um, and also, uh, people do ask quite a lot whether we're sponsored by MSI. Uh, the answer is no. Hey, but MSI, I mean, you know, we could always use an upgrade. Yeah, I mean, you MSI. Yeah. Did you just wink at the camera? I, I had MSI. Oh, you winked at MSI. Yeah. Through the camera. Exactly. Uh, through okay. the lens of the camera, through the video, and then watching it at the molecular level with the protons and neutrons and photons, and it all combined with a wink. Uh -huh. And that's how I changed the world. Comment number four comes from Alfie Craft. He says, banana. Now if we rewind, now we rewind, you guys can see comment number two says monkey, and it says banana, so somehow they're affiliated, maybe these guys are collaborating together, I don't know. What do monkeys and bananas have, to have in common? Monkeys love bananas, and bananas love the They're both carbon-based life forms. Are they? This is a conspiracy. Whatever. Confirmed. Not even gonna say what, but it's confirmed. Yeah. So that wraps up um the, that wraps up the comment section. Yeah. Now um, we get to do the we get to do the stuffy yeah, type. I don't know. I don't Let know. us know in the comment section down below. We need more questions. We need more random words. We need more everything. So uh, in the comment section down below, if you have questions about the partnership, the news stories, the blah 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 blah. blah exactly. Me personally, if you want to know when the last time I brushed my teeth was, or the last time that I, uh, you know, did anything this morning, or him. Hey, let us know in the comment section down below. Um, so now we can talk about the partner. Let's go. Yeah. Thank you so much to Babalu for providing today's rehash introduction. Now, I have to stop you right there. Okay, go ahead. His name is just fun to say. Babalu. Babalu. 
it, it's fun to say properly. It's fun to say improperly. Like, I could just go on forever. Yeah, he has Babaloo, 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 now, in the Q&A, he did a, a, a camera. Like, yeah, he was actually talking to the camera and whatnot, but he has an amazing gaming set. Like, he has posters on the wall, he has, like, gaming props off in the distance, the camera's high quality. So why don't you use that camera set and record your Let's Plays? So nonetheless, with Babaloo, I do love your username. You know, when you're doing these Let's Plays, try to take off the bars off the side, make it full 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080 and do the little face cam on the top left. Now, here's the thing. Um, yeah. The the set that he was using might not be in the same physical space ah, as... okay, right. So, maybe that's not possible. But I do want to say this. The guy's got stage presence. Right. I really feel like he's the kind of person who could carry himself right. um, if he were to do, like, face cam or something like that. Yeah, yes, first or time. even, like, a gaming news show or something along those lines. I really feel that he's, you know, he's... Got this kind of figured out as far as, you know, where to place his hands, um, what to do with his body while he speaks. Right, and he's still a very early YouTuber, so this is something that he can develop as he goes on. Also, there is another thing that I noticed that I like, and I would like to see more of in a different way. So, he uses what I call stingers. In the beginning of his video, he'll come on and he'll say, um, you know, today we're going to be playing Batman Arkham Asylum, or something along those lines. And then he rolls an intro. Now, I'm personally not a big fan of intros. Right. Uh, we actually do one here at Rehash, but it's a partner introducing us. It's different every single time. And, you know, so I don't think it hurts our retention too much. Um, however, um, what I do like is before he rolls that, he, you know, comes on and he says, you know, hey, look, this is what we're going to be doing. I would personally like to see that stinger be a little bit more unique every game. So, for instance... Um, Batman Arkham Asylum. Right. Um, instead of coming on and saying, today we're playing Batman, and then cut to that, um, come on and say, you know, today we're playing Batman Arkham Asylum. Uh, in today's episode, I shoot the Joker in the face. Or maybe not. You know. Or, um, you know, today I am playing Minecraft, and we figure out why it's bad to punch zombies in the face. <laughs> right. And this can always be actually recorded after uh, you've been, you recorded, so you can actually tease an important moment in the video and people, you know, will learn to, okay, well, I gotta stop, I gotta wait for that moment, or that's what this video is gonna be about, that's what's gonna happen in this video. Yeah. And I really feel that that's going to help you out a lot. Other than that, I don't really have much else to say, because you pretty much have your ducks in a row. Um, a couple other, other tiny things. A um, lot of, uh, a lot of times I'm noticing you'll feature an entire body in your thumbnail. But when it's shrunk down to its smallest size, you can't really make it out, you can't really make out who it is. Try to not necessarily feature people's entire torsos. Go for faces. Like, no joke, you will notice a difference in your click-through rate and your retention time just if people can see at the smallest size who it is or what it is that video is about. Yeah, I agree. All right. Is that pretty much everything? I think so. All right. Um, well, I guess it's time to say goodbye. Until next time. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, Freedom Family. So, I wonder if anybody's going to notice that we were messing with the pillows the entire episode. We're going to identify you, arrest you, and put you in a small cell. I doubt, maybe? I, there was a comment earlier about how the, the pillow was tilted that way. So, well, yeah.